Good evening. And I want to say to you who are looking on tonight, uh, it may look appear that we are in uh, violation, so to speak, of distancing, but not so. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We are not uh, in violation. Take your hat off, son. Take it off. We are not in violation of distancing, but we are family. We are family grouped. Amen. Those who are in the same household are grouped together. All that's the same family right here stand up, right? Yes. That's the group name, that's one, two, there's some other group, or tribal, or if you may be seated. And then the Smith family, you all may know who are the groups that you may stand up. Amen. So we are not. Uh, we, and then we are, those who are non-family, we are separated. Amen. So we move over some doctors so that we six feet there. There we go. There we go. Thank you. May be seated. And mother and daughter, you may be, you may stand, Thomas. There we go. They're the other same family. Amen. All right. Patrice and the twins, y'all may stand. You all are the same family. Yeah. yeah, you did birth the both of them. Yeah. yeah, all right. And so, so on and so forth. We good to, then we have Mother Mother Morris here, and, yeah. and Man. we have my wife over here, and Deacon's yeah. up here, and his wife is over here with his grandson. Yeah. So we're not in violation. Yeah. We're just family group. Amen. 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 It don't make sense. You, you be, you. They don't do it at the park. No. They all group together in families and restaurants. Mm -hmm. Every family member was not at a separate table. No. That's, that's, yes. So we're here to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. Yes, and, and we're going to stand choirs and sing. I like, I like that song, I like that song. I shall wear a crown. Yeah. I shall wear a crown. Return. Yeah. 
separated distancing. Uh, we are still maintaining the six feet, uh, although we are, we're still scattered all over this building. But we're grouped by family. Yeah. It don't make any sense the family stay in the same house, eat at the same table, and separated in church. Amen. Amen. None family members are separated. Amen. 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 We're just here to worship God. And on top of that, we're still scattered. Why are you still sound good? Amen. Amen. God be the glory. We're just here to lift him up. Yeah. He's the healer. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're short off now. We can go through the lesson, and I'll capsule the lesson tonight. Uh, I know I changed on you. We're going to have another psalm next week. Amen. But we wanna, I want to deal with tonight, as I feel led, Amen. the 41st number of the psalm. Amen. People all caught up with this, and quite naturally so, but you can't forget about the other work. Yeah. There, there are many other people who are dying that's, right. that's not being reported. Right. Their soul is important. Yeah. I'll come to that later. You may be seated.
No. If you say he'll do something, he will do it. Yes. He said the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you preserve something, that means you go through a process. Mm -hmm. You got it in. You, I know about preserving jelly and peaches and all that kind of stuff from old country boy. What it does, it preserves those fruits that would burn that you can use them years later. The lesson that we are doing right now, we might not use them right now, right. but we're going to need them later. And God said, if you consider the poor, that, that, that's, that's to me is just so important. Just consider, you're going out and trying to help somebody. Help somebody that's in need. You're thinking about somebody. How can I help this person? Right. I, I know, here they are walking to church, and I'm right. I, I can't pass by them and not offer them a ride. Right. Consider those that are less fortunate than I am. Yeah. And then the Bible says in the next uh, that he will deliver you in, in the time from your enemy. Yeah. I don't know about you, but there are some enemies out there. Oh, yeah. People just don't like you for who you are. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God. They're automatically just some enemies. And they don't like you. They're smiling in your face with a dog in their hand. They don't like you. Right. So don't let that smile deceive you. But God promised us he would deliver. Yes. When the enemy come up to do something to us, God somehow, because I consider the poor, because we consider the poor, he will deliver you in a time of trouble. Yes. Oh, I thank God for that. Yes. Then he said, the Lord will strengthen you upon your bed of relinquishing. Lord, well, as we go through life, and our strength began to obey, sometimes we get up in the morning and we just don't feel it. Amen. Amen. Amen.
we talk to my yeah, my own familiar friends. I never been in touch with Because I'm in a situation where somebody I thought was really close to me, yeah. and I thought they did some backstabbing to me, something I never thought would happen. Mm -hmm. So I said that time to mm -hmm. You're gonna need me to come to your defense. You're gonna need yeah. me when your feelings are hurt, you're gonna know, need to lift me up. So come on, I said, I'm gonna be there with you, you don't have to look that to be mm -hmm. open mind. Mm -hmm. We've all got some of these things. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to strengthen you. I'm going to bring you 
I'll heal you. Whatever you need, he's going to do it. But we have to trust him that he can do that. God is merciful, but he doesn't have to be. So we should suffer. We could suffer a whole lot more than we do based on what God's mercy shows to us. We are deserving of so much. But he loves us so much, he's so kind. He doesn't have to take time to make this covenant agreement with us. He couldn't. He just could have just left it out there. He said, no, I'm going to show you mercy by it. You can sit in the court. I'm going to do so much more to this. I'm going to tip the tap. Just oh, let me do one thing. I do one thing to you. It's so many things that God is doing. And his mercy just has to do the one thing of considering the court. And as the friend brought out, there's so many ways to consider the court. So there's no excuse on, well, I couldn't or I didn't. Because he didn't say how we had to do it. When we had to do it, you can only do it this way. Or this day, or this time, there's so many ways. We know we've given to the poor that we need with food or clothing, and that's what we do together. But then every day, God knows our hearts. He sees what we do on a day to day basis. We're not here. How do we really feel about the poor? How do we consider others? Even this pandemic, what are we doing for others who are less? We help them to pay God. What about others who don't have what we have? How do we consider them still? That was it. You know, that time of Thanksgiving, Christmas is over. What have we done in 2020? Like, right. it should continue. We have all the opportunities to consider the poor, and the God will remember us. Amen. My next point is, because of verse 4, he says, um, he was real honest. He said, Lord, um, be merciful to me and heal my soul, for I have sinned against me. So, yes, he's talking about considering the poor and the mercy and blessing that we will receive because of that. But then he's also talking about another problem, which is the sin problem. Mm -hmm. So, my point is, try every day to sin less. Mm -hmm. Because we know in the scriptures it says everybody who sins is going to be beaten with strategies. No matter how many strategies you're going to be beaten with, whether you know or not. So God is merciful yes. again, but the less we sin, just by the laws of passion, the less we sin, the less we have to suffer. So try hard to do God's will, to pray to God, to keep praying, to keep believing his word, to pray and ask him to keep us in his will so that we obey him and we do what he wants us to do, and then we won't have so much sin. Uh, in our lives. He goes on to say um, that with all these evil things that people are talking about, our friends turn on us, what God will not do is turn against us either. God will not allow the enemy to overwhelm us or to prevail. My next point is God will never allow our enemy, the devil, to prevail over us. He'll give us a testimony of victory. Uh, you know, the church is under attack now. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how this the, the church is winning. God always wins. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we get big head and think, you know, we got it. When I got money, I got politics, I got support. But not against God, and it won't stand. The church will always stand. So we have a victory. He'll give us that testimony. Yeah. Amen. 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 Can't help us back in return. Right. So what we give is not looking for 
doesn't make sense. So there's no strings attached when we help the poor. You know, this uh, last year we were blessed to help the homeless and give them food. Yes. We didn't, right. we didn't right. have enough food to right. say, uh, I'm going to come back next time and I want you to do something for me. But no. Uh, so there's no strings attached when we help others. And then when we consider the poor, we're blessed, as the scripture says. Yes. And uh, this one is going to come a time in all of our lives where we're going to need somebody else. Yes. Uh, when we're not going to have any money or, when, like others said, when we need a ride or even when we need a place to stay. I'm hoping this when I didn't have nowhere to live. Some of the members in the church opened their doors so I can live with them. And I didn't have no money to pay them back. But God is blessing. Amen. My next bullet is no one is exempt from troubling times. So like I said, we're up right now. We have everything we need right now, but who knows what tomorrow holds. Right. So some people left and then they came back and their house was burned down or the car was gone. So no one is exempt from troubling times. We're all going to go through a period of time where we have trouble. But when we consider the poor, God is going to bless us in that troubling time. My next bullet is only God can deliver us from sickness. Yes. So in the, uh, in the Bible, in scripture number three, it says, The Lord will strengthen him upon his bed of languages. Mm -hmm. Thou will make his bed in his sickness. Mm -hmm. So when we're going through, only God can deliver us from sickness. Mm -hmm. The doctors, they really don't know what's going on. You know, they're right. going through a book. You know, they, have, they have this symptom or they have that symptom. Right. Right. But only God knows what we're dealing with. Only God knows what kind of sickness we're going through. Only God knows what part of the body to touch to take that sickness away. Amen. My next bullet is we must depend on God. Mm -hmm. So when the scripture talks about when we consider the poor, how God is going to preserve us, how he's going to keep us alive, how he's going to bless us upon the earth, how he's going to deliver us from our enemies. Mm -hmm. We can't get that if we don't depend on God. That's we right, can't man. get that if we don't obey him right, and right, consider right. the poor. My next bullet is go to God and repent. Mm -hmm. And that's based on verse number four. It says, I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Mm -hmm. So in this verse, David recognized he had sinned. So he announced it, Lord, be merciful unto me. I know I sinned against you. Have mercy upon yes. me. So we must first identify what our sin is. And then go to God and repent. And repentance means that you're going and you're saying that I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And it's not just like, oh, I'm sorry, and then tomorrow you do it again. Right. No, it means I'm going to go to you and repent, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Right. Yeah. So he's asking us to be merciful unto him because he knows that he needs God's help to help him to stop sin. And we need God's help to help us as well. Right. And that's what it is. God is merciful. Amen. So when we go to God and we ask him to forgive us, he, he's merciful. He forgives us. Yeah. I'm not saying that we're not going to go through something right. or we're not going to have to pay for what we've done, but God has mercy on us. He doesn't yeah. give us what we actually deserve. Right. 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 So he is merciful on us. So, so it's a blessing when we can sit at a poor yes. and we don't look for anything back. That's and, right. You know, God has opened the door many times for us to be blessed. Amen. When those yeah. who come in that are homeless and, you know, we're talking to them, go talk to them or be a witness to them. Not like, oh, I don't want to go talk to them. But when we consider the poor, it's truly a blessing. And I thank God for this blessing. Amen. Amen. What is up for me? You don't know my God, no. What is up for me? Oh, you don't know my God, no. What is up for me? You don't know my God, no. What is up for me? You don't know my God, no. What is up for me? Oh, you don't know my God, no. What is up for me? You don't know my God, no.
blessing me because actually I looked up a lot of I looked up the definition of a lot of words. Because sometimes you think you know what something means until you look at the meaning. Right. It's true. And so I looked up the definition of considering, and like the previous teacher stated, it's more than just thinking about something. That's right. It's mm -hmm. thinking about it with intentions on right. following through with it, yes. with an action, actually doing something about it. So God doesn't want us to just think about, no, oh, you know, so and so, it doesn't mean help. Oh. Eh, oh well. But that's not good enough. God wants us to do something behind it. And if you think about it, we're supposed to be like Christ for Christians. Be yeah. like Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Don't just think about us. He, don't do right. he thinks true. about us and he follows through. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Whatever we're in need of, God blesses us with it. So we yeah. have to do the same with our brothers and sisters. Yeah. My second point says God's preservation keeps us close to him. We will receive blessings and favor. Verse 2 says the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He shall be blessed mm -hmm. upon the earth, and God will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. So when something is preserved, it's kept in its original state, mm -hmm. and it doesn't go bad, basically. Right. So when you yes, preserve right. food, or you know, you put it in a refrigerator, or like salt, 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 salt yes. preserves food, yes. and it keeps yes. it, it right. keeps it from going bad. Yes. So yes. God does the same thing for right. us. When yes. we're in his will, and then when we're doing the right thing, he'll preserve right. us, he'll keep us from going bad. So it's That's right. Right. Amen. So
praise the intentionality of that your name will be glorified. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your holy sight. So prayer we pray in Jesus' name, in the Lord's name. Amen. Amen. This song is a song of the mind of Christ. If God had never considered us, he never would have come down from his eternal abode and was born of a virgin. Lived 33 years and died on the cross for our sin. Now, I've been hearing it, it's very, it's a gloom and doom. When I turn on the TV and I'm yes. constantly hearing, yes. and every, every, after every commercial, the corona, right. Right. It's, it's, it's almost conditioning your mind to gloom and doom. It's just a gloom and doom. They say if science don't get it, I just. I, but then there are other commercials that come on and talk about the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I heard one on I think it's Laura Ingram, uh, Fox News. Laura Ingram, I think it was a preacher on that. Said that uh, one, of, uh, one of those. He said people need to hear hope. Yeah. They need to hear about hope. Yeah. And even, even if you close your eyes on this side, you have another when you open your eyes on the other side. It's almost like I heard today that they uh, it was they credited, although I question the numbers. I do question the numbers. But I don't believe everybody died from them. I don't understand. Because they're readjusting some numbers now. But they, they said it's almost like a, like a milestone, 100,000. It's almost like we only, they made it. Oh my goodness. Don't you know one bit? But the church, this song here, it's not only talking about coronas. It's talking about those who have an alcoholic addiction that died from alcohol. People who died from suicide. People who died from depression. People who died from uh, all kind of other... We all gonna die. Because the number one thing that's killing all of us was this coronas and depression and murder is sin. S-I-N. Nobody can find a cure for that but God. Amen. You want to feel good about yourself and, and stop being afraid? That's what it's all about. Fear, control. Nobody should control your mind but Jesus. Amen. He said, if you keep your mind on him, right. he'll yes. keep you in perfect peace. Right. I'm just going to touch upon this, this fourth verse here. He says, I say, now, now, keep in mind, you cannot help anybody until you get yourself straight. You can give a million dollars to the poor. We gave 500 baskets and uh, Thanksgiving is five hundred baskets for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But if your heart is not right, mm -hmm. I say, Lord, this is what he says. Yeah. He's giving you what? Blessings, how blessings. He, always, he put it out there versus blessings. Yeah. But he goes into a deeper matter yeah. where yeah. the problem really lies. Yeah. It, it, it lies with every man and woman. Yes. If every man and woman would confess, yes. he says, he's confessing, he says, I say, Lord, be merciful, be kind to me. Yes. I sinned against you. Yes. 
I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Yes. Heal my soul. Yes. Not my body. Right. Yes. But my soul. Yes. Amen. This body's going back to the dust. Right. But my soul yes. is going to spend eternity somewhere. Amen. So I'm the deciding factor. Yes. You are the deciding factor. Yes. But your soul. He said, heal my soul. Yes. Forgive me. Yes. When we get forgiveness, yes. he's already told us how the, the land can be cured. Yes. And by default, yes. not the world, but it's not people. Yes. We'll call by what? My name. We'll do what? Humble yourself. yourself. Come down. Yes. That's the trouble now. Yes. We don't fear God like we used to. Right. And God is bringing this pandemic so let you know yeah. it's troubling when you don't know something. Man. You get in. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are afraid to go out the house. Right. God said, okay, when you got when you have that kind of mind, get right with God. Right. Amen. Then he'll take the fear. Yes. Yes. Then he'll guide your mind. Yes. If my people will call by my name, will humble themselves and do what? Pray. pray and do what? Pray, 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 pray. That's, I, I, I admire, I go back to what the president said, when he, he supported the church. Yeah. I've never seen a president like this support pray. the church. Yeah. I've never seen a lot of presidents Amen. in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. But he said, we need prayer. Amen. Yeah. If my people will call by my name, will humble themselves and do what? Pray, Pray and do what? See my, my face and turn. turn. Oh, That's the healing right there. Yeah. I don't care how many test tubes and box they make. I read today. I just got through reading. They may get a virus and never cure this corona. Then what you gonna do? You gonna live in fear all your life? God is able to take it just in a twinkling of an eye. It's my people. Yeah, sure, some are praying them, but God wants the we want the soul. He wants your heart to turn back to Him. So many want. Won't cure, but they don't want to uh, do what God wants them to do. And it's not out in the world, it's in the church. You to do. Oh, Lord. Don't you tell me how to act and live. I, I had a teacher told me one time, I mean, told a class, he said, There are some people dare you to teach them something. They just dare you to teach them. Need teaching all along. They want blessings. Standing in their own way. And this is this is right here. Where turn from their wicked ways. Then he will do what? Hear from where? Heaven. Not in the uh, uh, nursery. But here from where? Heaven. Here from where? Heaven. And what would he do? Forgive. 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 Yeah. Yes. Their sin. Yeah. Heal the land. That's yeah. free of yeah. charge. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He says here, I sin against you. Mm -hmm. Now he's confessing yes. in this song. But forgive me. Yes. I uh, for I have sinned against you. Yes. Be merciful. If God is not merciful, children, and He's showing His mercy, yes. it could have been worse than what it is. It could have God could have wiped out everybody yes. in the United States, yes. but He's merciful. Yes. He called a friend, yes. not just over here. From east to west, from north 
to a church that's praying. scientists, we pray for the doctors, we pray for the nurses, but the most thing we need, we need healing. Yes. Yes. Soul revival. Yes. Yes. I hate it so bad that I heard that when I got the news from the president that they're canceling the, the revival. We need a revival! Yes. This country needs a revival. Yes. Turn back to the Lord. Yes, yes. Man. yes. 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 It's kind of like what happened when the little boy, my late pastor, told a story. He said there was a little boy uh, who was eating sugar. His mother told him not to stay, get out of the sugar. If I'm telling it right. So he would. So she just gave him a bag of sugar. And after a while, he ate so much sugar, he just brought it out. <laughs> we are constipated with transgression. God on a Sunday now, he did this praise. Nothing is happening on a Sunday now. Remember the Sabbath day? Remember the Sabbath day. Amen. That don't mean go home and go to bed to the beach. No. That's the day one seventh yeah. of our time is required by Him. Amen. It's a commandment to remember the Sabbath. Day. Amen. I just wanted to, that was on my heart to bring this out. Amen. Amen. I just want to say, look at yourself. Right. Make sure you're not standing in the way of heal, healing, not only for yourself, but for the country. Amen. Amen. We all come short yes. of God's glory. Amen. Don't go to bed thinking you're all right. You get on your knees. Yes. Spend time Put your mind on the Lord. Yes. And you think about yourself. Yes. Your conscience will tell you. Yes. And if you're troubled about something, you better get that thing straight. Yes. Amen. You can't fight God. His arms, your arms are too short. Amen. God is doing great things. Yes. Amen. Just his mercy. Yes. Just his mercy. Yes. Right now. They say the sun, the, the hot breath will, it dissipates this. Yeah. Look how hot it is. You, yeah. I've been standing in the sun, man. Thank you, God. Yeah. Amen. I was blessed off. Amen. I, had, <laughs> so, I got to get in the car. <laughs> I go out after church every Sunday and spend out that sun. Amen. There's healing when you do it God's way. Amen. There's healing is, no, let me tell you one thing. When you live, there's no half disobedience. No. I heard a preacher, I was coming back from Concord today from the practice. And I heard, I turned on this preacher, his wife preacher was preaching to. He said, there's no half disobedience. I mean, there's no, you doing half disobedience. If you do a half disobedience, you disobedient. Right. Oh, well, I know the Lord understands. Yeah, he understands. He put in his word for you to do right. Amen. Some go along with their children and their mamas and their daddies. Well, they, they'll learn. Well, you will learn too because they're going to sink your boat too. I ain't gonna be in that boat. Mm. I love my I love my wife. She, she's she's doing a wonderful job. Yeah. My children, I love the children. 
Yeah. But if they ride on a different boat, I ain't riding that boat. I'm going to stay on the one I'm on. I love them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I love you too. Amen. When you sell in the wrong way, I ain't on that boat. I'll let you go and sail your way. Somebody's right and somebody's wrong. And I know the contacts that I have shows me I'm on the right boat. I keep dreaming about seeing some people this morning. Mm. As Red Mama will say, you better get right. Yeah. Get right. Yeah. Get right to God. Yeah. He would say, not from not. Yeah. This is not. That's an old expression. Yeah. Zero from zero. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Right. Yeah. All right. I want to say to those who've been tuning in, it's so good to see our visitor this evening. Amen. Teresa, I went mean better yesterday. She waved back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to have her. Mother Marsh is here tonight. Amen. Yeah, so uh, keep doing what you're doing, children. Look, let me tell you one thing. There is hope. Amen. I don't believe this is going to be with us long. I just don't believe that. God got, got a reason for it to linger. Amen. And if you don't put it in the scientist's mind, it ain't going to happen. Right. Amen. Amen. They begin to find out shut up causes more problems than being out. Because you have common sense. You don't go up and read somebody in somebody's face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he was talking about those masks. He's washing. Keep yourself. I don't. I don't care. He talking about this. You you protecting others. Well, if you got yours over, I'm, I'm, I'm safe here. <laughs> right. But to, they, they're saying, but I understand, when I heard uh, the briefing, she said, if you can't distance, mm -hmm. then have, that, that's understandable. Right. You're in a, a gross, tight grocery store, then you can. Mm -hmm. but if you're distancing, if I'm, all, if I'm walking by myself and nobody's around, why am I having a mask on? <laughs> What, I'm going to terminate the bird or something? <laughs> I, I'm done. You know, people feel safe. They just feel safe. I'm not going to not gonna knock it. But, but that's what they say. They require masks everywhere now. But I can see it socially. Mm -hmm. I was telling as as uh, so the trees. They say when you go in a restaurant, they require. I say, how do you know? They, they have a little hole in the mask where they put the spark and swallow it or something. What they do when they sit down and eat? It's so confusing now. You hear different ones saying different things. You know what I'm going to listen to? God. You can't get confused when you listen to God. I'm sorry. God bless you. We're looking at God bless you. Amen. Old